and then the last thing is back in my life. Are you sure you are praying? Tell it to the Lord. And ask God that for the few minutes that we are going to spend together, the Lord will come and wine and wipe with us. There is no desperation that you have for us at the back that is going to hear. Lord, we ask that you come to wine and wine with us as we discuss this career path in the name of the Lord Jesus. And as we are spoken into his ears, so he will do what for us. In the name of God the Father, Amen. and of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So let's give Jesus a round of applause. Let's give Jesus a round of applause. And another one to the leadership of the of the Day's Church. Another applause to the leadership. And for being alive and here, here and here, you give yourself another round of applause. Like I have said, it's a, it's a time of discussion and it's a time of. So we are going to do it together. I'm sure I'm also, I'm also prepared to go with that one thing today. And I saw all that the Lord is for us. Choosing a career path. Can you appreciate uh, the president of the King's Trust? You have the president in your man. I guess I can man. Where is she? I can see you there. The Lord will bless you. The Lord will keep you. We are going places. I have seen that the very first day I came into this church. And, and my prayers are with you. And I will not be surprised if we have in church. When I begin to hear pastor to me, he says, The Lord will make me that one for you. He's not going to give anybody a tap and he's not going to support it. That is the truth. So be ready. Make yourself willing. Make yourself available. A lot of times you don't know what is inside of you because you are not willing, because you are not available. So sometimes you don't see them, you know. The willingness is there and the availability is there. I knock at the door of your heart. It is only when you open. Open your heart and you see Jesus manifesting in your life. So shall it be for all of us with Jesus. So we are talking about choosing a career path. Choosing a career path. And then when I was just preparing to talk about choosing a career path, two things came to mind. Is it a job or a career? When you are thinking about something that you can do to earn a living, just for the purpose of earning a living, then you are looking for a job. Let me get up in the morning, let me go to work, and then come back, you know, be able to pay my bills. If that is what you are looking for, then it's a job. It's not a career. I have a note here, and uh, my God's friend was going to help us to go through. I said, a job is something that you do to earn a living. It's usually on short term basis. You know, there are some people that we call nomadic. Who knows the meaning of being nomadic? I'm sorry, we are, we are teaching. Yes, very fast, nomadic. And you see some people, they jump from job to the other. Today, you are doing front office work here. Yeah. Tomorrow, you are doing sales and marketing. Next, tomorrow, you are somewhere else. And you are doing something else. Those are the people that are doing it for the purpose of what? They don't want to end it. On short term basis. You have closed up, you close it up, and you have moved up to something else. But when you talk about a career, a career is what we are talking about today. I don't want to start by letting us know the difference between the two. A career is a field of work you plan to get specialized on. You want to, you plan to advance on. You plan to make money over the time. What does that mean? If I say something you want to get specialized from, something you want to advance on, and something that you may rather make money over the time, over the time, it's like a continuous thing. Making the money does not be the main focus. I'm not saying that you don't have to take care of your bills. You have to pay the options. But the truth of the matter is that the money doesn't just come through like that. As you build your career, you earn more. And I'll start by giving this illustration. 
people you will say, really, it's difficult to find help. That's the truth. But with Jesus in your life, it's never difficult. This year, I've had two offers that I rejected. And why did I reject the two offers? The first one is because it's taking me away from VI and Kentucky. And I said no. You can make options when you get to that level. The second one, I told them no. I'll be doing myself a disclaimer if I end what you are proposing to me. So what am I trying to say? It's not about the money that you consider. But after you have, you know, you are making progression in your career, then it becomes part of the values that you look at. The Lord will take us all there in Jesus' name. Yeah. As I said previously, a career is a long-term endeavor. It should be something that you are good at and you are passionate, passionate about. That is another key word that you should not miss out. When you are talking about a career, it must be something that you are passionate about. Passionate about. And I'm going to consider some structured processes as we talk about the career path. I'm going to consider some structured processes that we need to look at. The first one is the, the time of reflection. The structured processes and the first one is the time of reflection. When we say we have to reflect, what are you going to reflect on? I think the, the basis or the foundation or the first point where the starting point for you is that time of reflection. You reflect on your interests. You reflect on your personality. You reflect on your skills. Those are the things, talent and strength. The things that you need to reflect on. We're talking about the structural processes when you are choosing a career. Time of reflection. So when I say interest, interest, who wants to help me out? If I say it's your interest, what is your interest? Yes, sir. Another pastor you have. Give me another one. Okay, like something that when you do is the right tool and treasure it. Find yourself doing it with all your parts. Thank you very much. Something you enjoy doing. That is what I have in my room. You find pleasure doing it. And so many things you can think of. Some of us we like to play football. We, have to, we like to watch football. All of those players that you see today, they started somewhere. And some of us, we are going to be, I don't know if any, anybody in this class will remember the likes of Dupe. So long, those days I used to see. Ah, I don't have to see the story from Ah, Tino, Ah, Tito. Give me one more, 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 she sings, there is no way you will know where you will get the song. You will hear about the song and you will not be blessed. I'm not choosing as an example because she has blessed me so many times in administration. You know? That is something that she would be doing effortlessly and she enjoyed doing it. And the Lord gave that back up. They are getting there. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. I said for some people, they like writing. Them. They write a lot. Some people like writing. What are the things that they like doing? Some people, they like cooking. All of those things, there is a path that can take you, that it can take you in your career. That you enjoy doing. Those are things that you should reflect on. That is the starting point for you. Then we now look at the next one personality. Who is Baby Zola? Who is the Bora Adeshek? Who is Angas Asuko? Ask yourself. Are you a naturally outspoken person? Are you a are you somebody that knows how to manage time, people, and all of it? Do you work well with people? I remember those days, my secondary school days. You know, the first, I think it was in my class two. We learned about the active and the passive voice. A long time. <laughs> active and the passive voice. Active voice. Before you 
say again, their hands are up. But for people that the government that don't consider that they don't know it. They know it. The idea that there. They would only wait for you to be called upon before they answer you. So look at your personality. You like, you know, just socializing with people or just like sitting in one corner and enjoying the big solar as well. It's a lot to help us in the school. Then another thing that I said you need to reflect on is the skill. The skill. The skill. Personality is what defines you. You know, for me, I don't have to see you for too long. I don't have to let you be maybe one or two times. I can define your personality, don't be surprised. That's not like it. It defines you. Personality defines you. I just want to mention that you have at least to get that secret. Then your skills. Some people are creative, some people love painting. Some people do what they mean. Those are the things that we call skills. Skills. Of course, by the time you get out of here, we will also get to a point that you're developing your resume. So when I got here today, that I remember that I should have brought mine so that I would use it as, you know, as a training point. If I bring my resume, the first thing you see is that I highlighted my own skills. Because that's my marketing strategy. I'm going to be able to sell what I have got to the employer or whoever that will be interested in what I have been trained to do. So the first thing that comes to mind when they look at it, okay, you can do this, you can multitask. Okay, she says she can, she can solve, she's good with conflict resolution and all of those things. Know that the things that will impact you and skill. And I said here that even some of those skills, they are not things that are, that, you know, they are in a perfect form. They are not in a perfect form in any way. Something that you gradually develop. Just like the talent. Or skills are sometimes, I don't know. Some skills are, some skills are, are, are talent. But you know some you, you learn through and some they are inborn. The gift from God. We will get there. I think it's something that you develop and you can have more than one. You can have more than two. You can have more than three. You can have more than four. And I think if a person, if somebody is a person, if you are good at talking, you know, how? Look at this, uh, my good coach. Uh, if somebody got it 20 years ago and that, that's what they have been using. I need to have got mine and I've been using it over eight years. And it's not expensive. It's not, I'm not the one selling it to. I'm just talking generally. I've not started selling. Where do you think I should go to? I should go to sales. Because already I, I'm already making points with what I'm wearing. The person that sold this thing to me said he has used it for 20 years. Or somebody told me that he has used it for 20 years. And I've also been using it for how many years? 30 years. And it's not as expensive, but it's not going to be 200 naira. Then you will be good in sales, you will be also good in PR, work, or even in nature. You don't need a lot of coffee in nature. Hey, there. Yeah. And if you are good in numbers, you are somebody that is good in numbers, you don't have to calculate. One plus one is 20, one plus two is 50. Where do you think you find yourself? You should find yourself in the place that you be managing finance. Reflection. Reflect on your interest. Reflect on your personality. Reflect on your skills, your talents. And then the next step that you think that I think you should go to is the time of research. You would have identified some things when you were reflecting on yourself. You would have identified some things while reflecting on yourself. 
and then you move on to do what? To do research. I said the world of work is changing all the time. So you need to find out more about the kind of jobs that are available in the near future. The kind of jobs that are available in your deep future. Because they are doing the picture now. And that's what they are trying to do. And some of those things, all of us here, I'm sure we are very good with this guy. Even more than that, uh, I'm holding this uh, microphone. A lot of times I begin to imagine how this is happening. So I really don't know. Because it's computer that I use almost every time. And I discover that sometimes I want to get something else to be asking those of us who are very good to help me out. You know, you need to do research. You need to read articles. You need to check video things. All of those things are available on the internet. The ones that are, that are related to the big picture that you are seeing in your future. Read relevant books, attend seminars, workshops, and talk to counselors. The time of research, nobody knows it all. I'm sure that we are very familiar with the fact that the day you stop learning, you stop knowing. And one, one thing that I think has helped a lot of people is that they never stop learning. Things are changing by the day. And if you stop learning, you stop to be ready. You are going to stop to be relevant. I remember those days when we used to do for job. That was when the computer age started. I'm talking about 2000 now. I think that was when I started looking for job. And then they would now say computer knowledge is an advantage. I have finished from school, but I have never used the computer before. And my mother cannot even afford to send me to any extra school to go and get computer. She can't. But I have a cousin that came to stay with us at that time. His own mother sent him to learn in Morocco. And he comes with the notes. He comes home with the notes. He was, of course, half a day, but he was still waiting for admission at that time. I think I was about eight years old. Then. I will carry the notes because I want to do the search. Horrible. I will picture the, the computer. There is no computer. I don't have a computer at home. I have not been to anybody's office. I will just look at the paper computer. Then, you know, imagine I'm pressing Ctrl S, Ctrl and all of those things. And that was how I did it. The first place I went to work, they asked me. And I told them, no. Oh, but well, these are the things that are done. They said, give her a computer and, and put her to test. Yes, I was able to make sense out of it. Even though I was not very fast. But because I did that research, it helped me in the first place where I worked those years later. So you need, you know, to, you know, it's something that you must be interested in because it's about your life. And that's why I said, in any place that you need counseling, please seek counsel. Internet is a good instrument when you use it wisely. Check the video clips of things that you are thinking about. Somebody has a picture of an engineer. You like to fix things in the house. If there is a bulb issue, to fix it. If there is a carpentry issue, to fix it. What is your big picture looking like? Then you begin to do the research. What are the jobs that are available for this kind of thing that I'm looking at? Then you begin to see mechanical engineering, you begin to see chemical engineering, you begin to see all kinds of related courses. Then you now look at the ones that you are strongest. Or you look at the ones that you are strongest. Yes, in drawing up your plan, it is not just only one that will come to mind because we are still planning. It's not just one that will come to mind. Several will come to mind. But if you now make your options and say, ah, I don't do that. I do that down. I do that effortlessly. And I love to fix things. If there is any need to get anything, you put that down as well. I'm sure if you look at both very well, you will think that you will first, the first 
second that will come to mind is that, okay, which one do I do strongest? That comes to the option A. Just like you would do, and you go and write a uh, jam now. I don't know if you receive it like that. First course option, second course option. At least in filling your jam form, you must have two options. But I know those days, I don't know if it's still obtainable now. You must have options. And even the research that you're going to do must also include the schools that offer the kind of courses that we are looking at. If you choose medicine, for example, and you now look at all of these new schools, I'm sure a number of them that will bring that course. Because I have a cousin of mine that is at home now. Because she wants to go to be there. So some of the things that your research must be to you is those schools, higher institutions that offer the kind of you know courses or focus that we are looking at. And then you look at industries too. We have a lot of industries. We have the hospitality, we have estate management, we have um, insurance, so that the others are working. We have engineering and all of that. What is your target? The air companies. I'm sure that must sound so good. And there's one point that I would want to make here, and I think it is key for us to take note of it. Your career must be tied to lifestyle. The lifestyle first. What kind of lifestyle do you intend to have as a person? Or uh, have you even started? Because you don't take a career, I want to force a lifestyle to, 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 uh, to conform to it. Thank you for that word. To conform to it, your lifestyle first. You must get a career that fits in to your lifestyle. If you just want eight to five work, five days a week, then you should not be considering going for medicine. <laughs> you want to be at home to fly there on uh, Saturday or Sunday, or fly there, you know, get out with your friends, and all of that. Doctors will never have such plans for themselves. Because at the most be available at every point in time. So your lifestyle is what you need to understand first before you begin to think for your career. The Lord will help all of us in Jesus' name. And then the planning stage. The planning stage. I'm sure some of us we are now in the senior secondary, some of us we have left secondary school, we are in the higher institutions. But it's a learning process for all of us. By the time you are even in your junior secondary, all of those things needs to play out. You must begin to understand because you need to start taking necessary steps. And that's why they see some people, they say pastors. They call them pastors. They call them pastors. And tomorrow you see that they are pastoring the church. Those people that are calling that person, they are saying something. Maybe that person is not saying. And that's why I say that you need to have a counselor. But majorly, in like, like 60 or 70% you have to go on your own. Because your personality defines you. Even though some people can get to know that. But there's nobody that can know you more than yourself. Am I like that? It's impossible. There are some things inside of us that nobody knows. It's only you that knows that one. So 70% of you getting a part in your career. It's something that you have to do on your own. So in, your, in the process of your planning, I know that math and English is needed in all the courses. That's constant. Then you now begin to look at all other subjects. For those of us that are still in the senior second or junior second. What other subjects do you need to complete? I know that the secondary school those days is still, yes, at least for my children. I know that they 
have science, we still have the art class, we still have the commercial class. So that means that you must put in your planning. You cannot take God out of anything that you do. And that is very important. We are going to get there. But I'll not share this with you. And what I want to share is, is that it is better for us to understand and know God early. I never had a counselor. I never, I never had this understanding of what a career looks like. We just go to school for the fun of going to school. And we just see how best we can, you know, drop everything and just get good place. Because that's what they will tell you at all. My mother doesn't even know how to stop. The only thing that she will tell you is that don't tell me it's too much. I was a science student. And I was very strong in my sciences. I don't know if my teacher is still alive today. He started coaching me. I can't forget him. He was teaching us chemistry and physics at that time. We will come to a class. We will take a room. And he will tell us to come to my room. My room. Now we are doing particles. Because the moment we do the theoretical, I will be one of the very few people that will get the understanding very fast. So when we go to the laboratory, it will put people in my view. Till I left secondary school, I had a view. Because the day I was teaching, there was only a group before them. And because he asked me to be teaching, I'm supposed to pay for it. If you break anything in the lab, you pay for it. But because he asked me to teach, he can't ask me to go and pay for it. So so that the people don't talk to other people. And then when we come to the family, everybody will say, where is my father? I used to be very to our family. Finally, my classmate will say, where is my owner? So I'm sure those people that finished myself, my set, those days, the lovely girls, they will still remember the story. I was very strong in the sciences. Maths, because my brother was a very strong person in maths, I would teach others. And at my first city, I had other subjects except maths. No guidance, no counselor, no focus. So the privileged generation that you know God first, which is the biology, and you have a heart that you can be taught. For three good years, I failed us. And I've teach others to pass that part. So we now start what else can we do? I do to read government, read uh, which one of the people in the arts, arts class. Literature. Exactly. Literature. I think I had that literature, government, and commerce, so that I can come with something else. And that was it. I didn't go to any class. I don't call the notes. I read. And I went to write the notes one to And I had the result. And I changed my mind. And that was the But I tell you, that is God's plan for me, which never manifested in the initial time. Because I didn't know God, one, and I didn't have people that I can see as role models. My elder brother and I were the most strong women to just make sure that we made meaning, something meaningful out of life. And that is where I am today. And I give God all the glory that I did make that mistake. If I have gone to read medicine, it's a waste because that's not where I should be. But I'm enjoying every bit of what I'm doing. Let's give God a round of applause. And I always think that to share it. Anytime, any day. One of the things that salvation, do you know what funny thing about it? When I change what? Those days, they bring a mission letter to our house to jam. That's the truth. Those days, when I changed course, I finished first semester in school, I came back. The result of the last GC that I wrote, that the result was held. What do you call it? It was released. That was when I decided to change my course. I came back from first semester. 
first semester exam, and I found the result waiting for me. Do you know what my math was? Can somebody guess? A3. A3. Wow. So what that says to you? That is the plan of God. I didn't see because I wasn't a Christian. And that is why it is good for you to take advantage of it. Don't waste time. I think I finished high education maybe 27, 28. Before I went to South. Because I have to do one exam from here. If I do this, this, if I fail, I will do my next step. And it was all that part. So I just kept that point. You will not waste four years. You will not waste one year. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. So take every advantage of every opportunity that comes your way. You have everything around you. You have the internet that you can use wisely. And I know why I'm emphasizing the use of internet wisely. My son is seated here. And what I used to tell him is that every thought that comes to your mind, what will Jesus do? Because I can't be there every time. Your parents will not be there with you every time. But if you are born again Christian and you have identified yourself with Christ, what will he, what will Jesus feel when God sees when he, he, he sees you watching some 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 videos? The Lord will help all of us in Jesus' name. There are a lot of times we don't want our prayers because we have that power of internet. Please and uh, please I beg in the name of God. Use it wisely. Another key area that I want to mention is that there must be back up. In your career path, there must be what? Back up. I can't hear you. Back up. There must be back up. You need to get the back up. Being passionate about a particular career does not make it an easy path, especially in Nigeria or in the world that we find ourselves. Honestly speaking, by the time I, I finished from school, I had given my life to Christ, and that made me stress for me. I don't think I spent three months at home before I was employed. No, I didn't. But I'm sure, and I'm sure those days for our parents work already waiting for them. I don't think I spent three months at all before I was beautifully employed. I don't think so. But now, I know a thousand and one people that are on my leg. They have the qualifications. But the jobs are not there. The jobs are not there. So you must have what? A backup plan. And that backup plan will now take you to the beginning again. What to reflect on? You know, I said there will be options, there will be choices. The strongest, you will, you will place them in the, in, the, in the scale of preference, as you call it in economics. There is nothing that will distort your passion for something. And that was why I said, remember that I mentioned that you will earn money from it over time. You just want something to complement. Get the backup. And that will also take us to another category of people that I know you will have here. They may not have the means to go to any higher institution of learning. It's not because you know they chose not to. Circumstances surrounding their living is making it difficult for them to go to school. But they must live, they must have their career, and they must have make meaning out of their lives. I don't know if anybody knows any tailor. If you know any tailor that is good. And it's not learning. It's not very learning. 
I know. The person that sells my clothes cannot even write more than T, maybe for, or, or okay, let me use S for shoulder. L for legs. The tailor that sold my clothes. And this, what I'm wearing now, they will collect me carbon now, I give more pay carbon now. So you cannot speak it. You say to police. And I won't be surprised if one day I heard that he has a house in the public. He cannot write more than L for length, S for shoulder, B for man. But for what I'm wearing, you collect a minimum of 10,000 pounds.
talk like this, and a lot of times you discover that they are not running the thing. And I've given the, the, the story of my life when I was busy 
you know, dealing with fights when it was the red man. So we are God taking it to the red man. The Lord will not fall for the first time. From the basis, from the first time that you are laying the foundation of your, of your career, you need God. So the first time that you finish the planning and the execution, please don't take God away from it. I said, anybody that needs God out of this or career, it's like somebody that goes to the The Lord will say, he's a yoga. He's gambling, I mean, he's still gambling. The DJ, the DJ. But if you don't enjoy it, you will go back to the DJ. The Lord will not be that in Jesus' name. And that is why it's important for you to start now. Start small. Start your planning. Start your thinking. Start your reflect reflecting. Start your researching.
my phone, I always have a work clock at my reception. I look at the work clock, I write behind my phone. And they give me a name, a name. Don't let that come before you go. They will talk to me at the reception, they tell me, uh, some people will come late, I should give them space. I will not answer, I will not talk to them, I will not answer I just write my book and go to my class. And you go to my, my office. As you start now, let your light shine. So many things you see at the workplace, bribery and corruption, what you are not entitled to, somebody is bringing you to do. At some point, I was coordinating trainings. If I give you extra code, that's uh, something to travel with, and you travel overseas and you're coming back and you're coming to buy me dresses, for what? I'm doing my work. I will reject it.
the goal factor. I planted a polo water level. No legal for that increase. That missing link helped me to find it early. Help me to find it early. Reveal your plan and purpose for my life. He did it to me because I said that a driver and one child, all of those things are there, but we are not discovered. He did those things to me. That I will not just be wasting my years, that I will not just be wasting my days. He did those things to me. Are you sure you are praying?
your glory is going to manifest in our lives. We begin to see ourselves as a near future. And we begin to give glory to you for this day. Let them be the Lord glorified. For we are praying in the name of God, Father, and the Son. Amen.